I have a surprise for you. Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we have something really fun. We're going to read my old diary entries. I just want to say these date back to when I was seven years old, okay? Seven years old. I remembered that I had a ton of diaries laying around and I was like, that'd be so embarrassing to go and read them. Am I right? And so last night, Nathan and I were on the phone and I was reading back through all of my diaries. I have even more diaries that are from more recently, so I'm not gonna read them because they're honestly just not as entertaining. Just a disclaimer, I did write my diary when something was like going on in my life. So if I needed to talk through something with someone or just like get through a rough time or if I was really mad, I would go to my diary and I would write about it because after that I felt so good and it was able to just bring me back to a more positive mood. So a lot of these are honestly just me ranting, okay? Not really when I was like seven years old, but I don't even know where to start. I have so many <laughs> entries for you guys. I wanted to get to the good stuff, you know? I didn't pick an order. I'm definitely gonna bleep out some names because that would be very embarrassing. I don't wanna start any beef or anything when it's, there's not really beef and this happened like 10 years ago. So let's just go. Let's do this thing, baby. We're gonna start it off with a light one. This is like the diary that it's from and it says, I'm not here to wait for the storm to pass, but to learn to dance in the rain. And this entry is from Friday, December 19th, 2013 at 9.39 p.m. Yeah, 2013 means I was 13 years old and I think I was in sixth grade then. That night I did my debate homework wanting to cry for no reason. I mean, hasn't given me any signs that he might like me, but gives them out to like atomic bombs. I don't know, my period must be coming. <laughs> oh my God, I am so dramatic. I literally said, he hasn't given me any signs that he might like me. Like I'm ex expecting him to, like what? And then I'm like, atomic bomb. My period must be coming. Oh, honey, honey. I must have been in like seventh grade then because I think I got that in seventh grade. So we ain't in sixth grade no more. Blame it on the period when you've had it like less than a year. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna read this one. I have a crush on the same guy still in this one, and this entry is from Saturday, January 11th at 2014 p.m. Did I just say 2014 p.m.? 2014 was the year. This was a longer crush, and I will admit I was boy crazy, so I really do jump between guys in this diary. I literally am describing what I like about this guy, and I'm like, he's so funny when he wants to be. That, his smarts, and his eyes are like his own secret weapon. No, everything about him, his characteristics, his personality is his weapon. He's dangerous, and my heart is in the path. <laughs> Did I want to be an author? I don't know. Like, who am I performing for? Myself? There's another entry about another guy in here that I, it's very embarrassing, okay? Because like, once I talk about this, everybody's gonna know who he is. So I'm just gonna try to go around the places that it would make sense, okay? But I literally make up this story, an imaginary scenario. Let's just go right into it. Imaginary conversation while we embrace me. Hey. Him, hi, look into his eyes now. Me, how are you? Him, good, great. We start to slow dance. Him, you, me, great, as good as can be. Him, that's good. Me, yep, I just love the Christmas season, don't you? Him, yeah, don't most. Me, I guess, blah, blah, blah. Literally the most boring conversation that I'm having with this guy. And then I put my head on his shoulder. Blah, 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 blah. That would expose everything. I can't expose everything. He would unexpectedly kiss me. When we'd pull away, we'd look up to see we're under the mistletoe and laugh. <laughs> I'd kiss him on the cheek and put my forehead to his and say, my little elf. He'd laugh, kiss me on the forehead, twirl me, and we'd keep on slow dancing. Ah, uh, what a fantasy. I could be an author, seriously. I am like thoroughly confused with myself. I really could have just exposed myself right there with who that was. Actually, why not? It's my neighbor, okay? I had a crush on my neighbor for a while in middle school. 
hope this finds him well if he sees it. Hey, sorry about that. It's a funny time, you know? How could you not like the boy next door? You know, it's just a classic thing. And we're gonna go on more to stories about the same guy, okay? <sighs> We used to ride the bus together. Our parents used to force us to ride the bus together. Now everybody's gonna know who this is, but whatever, whatever. And yeah, this is a long story and it goes multiple ways, okay? So we're just gonna try to, we're gonna try to like keep up with my brain because she was doing something funky, okay? Just to give some heads up, I was texting this other guy and I switched to talking about my neighbor and there's two girls that I'm talking about and I thought one was jealous of me, okay? This was before the other one for sure. Anyways, I'm talking about this girl, how she's jealous of me because I'm talking to this guy, texting the first guy that's ever really texting seriously. And I say, is a gossiper who needs that just gets you into trouble but at least i knew what was going on i still have a sliver of hope for another girl not gonna happen snap out of it brie in all caps focus brie so doesn't save me a seat at lunch and i don't save her one we don't talk basically all we do is say hi in the halls now i have no best friend right now just they're there in the background, but schoolwork is my base right now. In elementary school, okay, girl. Oh, I didn't tell you my grades for the first trimester of middle school. I don't know where, oh, so I was in middle school. I don't know where the stupid paper went. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I needed to tell my diary what I was getting in school. But you're lucky you have me though, because I know my grades by heart. <laughs> Band, A, art, A, math. A, American studies, A, gym, A, reading, A, English, A, science, A minus. I really scribbled the A minus in there. You do see the minus sign next to the A on the science, don't you? Oh, I was mad, furious. I deserved an A for the effort I put into science. The conclusion I came to was Mr. B simply doesn't like me. I must sound crazy, but I'm serious. I know I should be proud, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I deserved a perfect A. Just because he smiles at me in class does not mean he likes me. Just because he says hi to me in the halls doesn't mean anything. Just because he calls on me to read in class, again, means nothing. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not gonna change my grades anytime soon just for that trimester. Who cares? <laughs> I'll never change my grades now. <laughs> oh my God, Brie. But apparently middle school is a big deal to me. My parents have always cared about grades a lot. So that's just really funny. I want to find, oh my gosh. Okay. So this diary. Oh, I didn't show the last diary. It's really cool. It has like a magnet. Cool. This one, that's a cool flower pen. Okay. So I gave people fake names. So my neighbor, is Edward Cullen. And if you knew who my neighbor was, that's kind of funny. And then the other guy that I liked, his name is Levi Jeans. So the last part of the entry says, P.S. When I dared Edward to wear his color coordinated sweatshirts on opposite days, he said no, because he wears green sweatshirts on green days and blue on blue. So at my middle school, we had green and blue days. And like, that's like our colors or whatever. You had certain classes on green days and you had certain classes on blue days. So it was like day one, day two, based on your schedule or whatever. But he said no, and that was the biggest deal to me, I guess. And then I go on to say something random. And I'm still talking about the girl who liked this guy that I was texting, okay? And this isn't Edward, okay? So was on the bus again. Maybe I forgot to tell you, but every day yells bye Edward from far away. And much more quietly and sheepishly, he says bye. She did it today too. I only hope she saw I was walking with him home and that I will do almost anything to keep her away from Edward. He deserves better. <laughs> I have nothing against these people now, but like, you know, middle school drama. And then I signed my name in like really fancy cursive. And then the next day, Sunday, March 3rd, 2013 at 9 p.m. I say, dear diary, he accepted my friend request. Today, I bravely sent Edward a friend request. And then later today he accepted. I'll tell you more about things tomorrow. I need to study and do my nails. That's not like that juicy, but the fact that I thought that the friend request was like something meaningful crazy and now we have tinder i mean i'm not on tinder i have a boyfriend but let's move on i want to do like a little cute one quick this is my first diary ever it has a lot of meaning to me because my mom gave it to me before we went to germany and this really reminds me of the journal and the movie mamma mia like donna has 
that notebook that she passes down to her daughter. Her daughter finds didn't pass it down. But it just reminds me a lot of that one. And my mom gave it to me and I was seven when we went to Germany. So I was supposed to document my travels. And I have family in Germany. It's like my grandpa's grandpa. He immigrated here from Germany. You guys probably don't know, but I went to a German immersion school from first to second grade and I actually skipped a grade. So I didn't go to kindergarten. I went to first and second grade at the German immersion school. And then I went to a like normal public school after that. And I did second grade again. Since I went to a German immersion school, my English wasn't as good as people's English here. I would write in German and English. So I'll insert a picture of this because it's kind of hilarious. I say the next day we were in a bigger castle and it was bigger than the one in the first page. We went to a castle the first day and we went to a castle the second day. And obviously this one was bigger. I said, we got to go in there, but the one <laughs> the first page and we were in a sommelier castle then that second one there was a big garden and there was gold angels on lakes we threw rocks on the lake it was fun i was seven years old i just didn't know how to spell okay i was spelling in german and then at the end of this I'm gonna insert a picture of this. I wrote, Tomas, I love you. That's the crazy thing to me because Tomas is my extended family. Like he's a cousin. My grandpa's grandpa, right? His brother, that family is there. So he's like technically family. And I had a crush on this boy, but he had like frosted tips and he was, he played soccer. I just thought it was the cutest thing. So I have two more diaries that I wanna show you like excerpts from. And this one's cute. It says keep calm and write on. And it is from 2014. So it was my freshman year of high school. And the first thing I do is I dedicate this book to my boyfriend. My first boyfriend ever. Love ya. And then I write like a little warning, a warning page. This was something really serious that people were gonna wanna steal. So I'm talking about homecoming. This is my first homecoming ever. We went out to dinner, we went to the dance, and then we went back to my boyfriend's house. We did like an ice cream bar, which was so fun. His parents are so sweet. This is about an, another girl that I was like friends with in middle school. And then in high school, we kind of like just lost touch and stuff. Like we just didn't have that much in common anymore. I'm really just gonna expose myself right now, but I have nothing against this girl anymore. But at the time I did, that's the thing. Nothing anymore, nothing against these people anymore. Like, I don't see these people. I don't have anything against them, but I did that. I said, this is when tried to make me look bad in front of my boyfriend's mom, emphasizing on how I barely go to church anymore. She went on and on, blah, blah, blah. She has major jealousy issues. And then I go on about saying how I know why she's jealous of me and all this stuff. And I list the things like how terrible. I knew nobody was gonna read this, so like, it was good for me to get my emotions out, but I literally list all of the things that I had. I was insane. Then I ended with, I have an amazing boyfriend, most likely the reason right now for her jealousy. Uh, that was basically a middle school relationship. So Brie, there was nothing really to be jealous of, okay? Like, yeah, he was sweet. He was a great boyfriend. I basically go on and talk about how like sweet my boyfriend was, cause he was. I don't know what this last one's gonna be. Out of all of the diaries, this is definitely the most recent one. It just says dreams on it. Oh, cute. I actually started with my goals and I said, new year, new me. And then my goals were learn something new every day, check yourself often. And then I said, make an effort to keep yourself as mentally sane as a teenage girl can be. Don't let your self and emotions go until you crumble. Oh, that's honestly valid. And then I said, always be true to yourself, lose the bad, experience and experiment, create stories to tell, remember family and attempt positivity. It's hard, but try. So these are new people that I was friends with at this time. I was like a junior in high school. Here we go. Yesterday, I was really upset because my best friend tells me that has been texting my boyfriend. I don't trust her at all. I was so upset the rest of the day. I felt so hurt and mad and sad. Why would you text my boyfriend as if they're best friends? That's crossing the line. I ranted to my boyfriend after a long period of the silent treatment. <laughs> I didn't want to talk to him even after all of us got into DP. Thinking about it made me want to cry. I FaceTimed and talked to my best friend about it and she was completely right. What they were talking about made no difference. Why would she want to publicize that she's voluntarily talking to my boyfriend? My boyfriend and I talked it out and then he came over and we studied for Euro. Oh my God. Not the stuff matters in my life now. There are events that I read through last night that I didn't talk about that I do remember and that were important to me and had a large effect on my life. 
but otherwise like all the petty little stuff it don't matter it don't matter okay that was so fun i just can't even believe that i am literally going to be putting this out on the internet i just wanted to do this because i thought it'd be so fun and <sighs> i was a crazy gal i'm still a crazy gal but I was definitely more crazy then. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for just watching my videos. And yeah, please subscribe. Please turn on post notifications and have a nice day. Bye.